Welcome over, welcome over. Okay, this is Brandon Ahmad here, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Uh, getting ready to talk to you and hopefully getting ready to teach you about what a content management system is. Now, this is part of my SharePoint um, two-hour custom course that I wrote, or, or essentially that I've written, and it's been very, very popular where essentially in two hours I teach someone what SharePoint is, how it works, and not only that too, but how you could, you know, start using it. So that after those two hours, you could get started. Clearly not very in-depth, but at the same time, though, usually it takes about a couple of hours to learn how to use something. So very, very beneficial, definitely. Um, this very first part, though, what I typically find is that there's a need to really understand the methodology behind a tool. See, I want, when, when you come and you watch my tutorials and you watch my courses, I'm going to always emphasize the methodology behind the tool. What we don't want to do, guys, and I'm going to put this right over here, is we don't want to become a very bad word in our lives. This bad word typically costs companies millions of dollars, and it typically ends up in wasting time. And that bad word over here, as I'm typing it in right now, is called tool fiend. Yes, that's it. Tool fiend. <laughs> okay, let me explain what tool fiend does. Tool fiend uses tools and avoids best practice methodologies. And as you guys can imagine, this leads to wasted money. So you're going to see a little bit of an um, you're going to see a little um, you're going to see a little bit of a different sort of approach with me in the sense that I'm going to teach these just like I'm an instructor. For many of you watching this, some of you have been in my past classes. Um, some of you will be watching this for the first time, and I may never even meet you. That's fine with me. But one thing that you will see, though, is you will see my approach towards being able to teach this. And my approach is going to be very, very, very um, fundamental, um, very, very fundam fundamentally sound in the sense that I'm, I'm very much about why, when, um, why, why we use something, when to use it, and where we use it. And that typically depends upon best practices. So that's what I want you to focus on. So let's start with the granddaddy of the ma or whatever else you name it, the content management system. Wow. Okay, this is huge. In fact, let me tell you. You pretty much can't be a big organization and not have a content management system for long. You will lose, um, the organization will lose way, way too much competitive advantage. And so this becomes absolutely essential right over here. This is our key part. What is a content management system? But what I oftentimes find whenever I go to sites and whenever I go consult or whenever I'm in the classroom is I'll come around to some shop and I'll be talking to them and I'll ask them about their content management system. And... Really, people know it works. Like, they, like I can ask people, what's a content management system? And they tell me, Drupal. Some may say WordPress. Others in the Microsoft world say SharePoint. Some might say Joomla. You get the point. Well, actually, Joomla is one. Um, but you get the point. But that's not really telling me what a content management system is. See, what I need to know is I need to know what is a content management system. Because let me tell you a little secret that you guys are going to learn. The best practices have oftentimes been around for decades. It's just a matter of implementing those correctly, and that's where most shops go wrong. And I'll type this. Yuja. So, just as you'd probably guess, content management systems have been around for quite a while too. In fact, the need for a content management system came about for a number of reasons. And let's start to trace that just for a second. Let's take a case here, and this is um, this is SharePoint, and I'll be showing this more to you guys. In fact, it's the, it's the information worker machine. Microsoft makes this free on a six-month trial where you can essentially use it. Um, and then you could, if you wanted to, what I've done several times, is just go ahead and re-download it and use it again. Um, it's meant to be, it's not meant to be a production machine, but it's a great learning machine for SharePoint. That's the big key. I mean, extremely handy. And for me as an instructor, where I do many, many custom teaches, where essentially I teach many things that are not within standard courseware because, um, because a lot of topics, you know, courseware just can't cover. This is really helpful, extremely helpful. So let me bring something up real quick and bring up a little notepad, and let's talk about this real quick and answer our very first question. What is a content management system? I mean, what is it? So... There are a lot of definitions I could give you on this one, but there's essentially one that's really going to rule the day, so to speak, okay? And that one definition over here, if I had to say this, is whenever I ask what is a content management system is this. It's one place where you can access all of the organization's information. So think about this for a second. 
And I want you to see right over here as I type along right over here, and I do this just as I do in class, by the way, um, a content management system. This is one central place where you can access where you can access all, and I mean access all of the organization's information. Now that doesn't mean that it stores all the information, it just means that from there you can get to the information. So you can access all of the organization's information. But wait, why would that be important? Why, 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 why? Think about it for a second. As an organization gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And you start to get larger and larger and larger. One of the biggest things that you end up running into is you run into this real development of what's known as silos or segmental parts of an organization. Suddenly you've got a finance department that's not really communicating too well with an HR department. Or you've got a procurement department that's not really on, on par with maybe a materials department. You get the point. It depends upon what you're doing. But the big thing is that as an organization gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it becomes harder and harder to share information. At this point now, you've got to have some sort of solution for being able to get information, some sort of solution that allows you to essentially, that allows you to essentially, um, to essentially bridge those gaps. So when we think of a CMS system, our very first tenet that we have to understand is, do we have a place? Will this system allow us to have one place to share the information? Many of you who've worked in companies, for example, have, have dealt with the situation where you had to learn 30 different tools in order to be able to access content here, 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 and here. While that might work, and that might work for very gifted people, that does not work organization-wide. That's one of the biggest issues. But then you start thinking about this, and you think, you think about a couple more things, too, now. Remember what I said on the definition? I said that it's one place, where you, one place that you're going to go within an organization where you can essentially access information or one place to be able to share information, right? That's what a content management system is. That's what it does. That's a big challenge. That's a very significant challenge. Let me tell you right now. I mean, having one place, one place where you can share um, information in an organization is significant. You suddenly have to think about all these sorts of things that you may have not thought about. And of course, as you can guess, as an organization becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, it becomes harder and harder to do this. That's sort of our challenge over here as far as on a content management system is how can we get a system that's going to allow us to share all this information and eventually even be able to scale the situation and, and eventually even be able to scale, I'm sorry, the system to grow. That's what we want to be able to answer from, answer from this very first course that I'm going to be giving you guys. I mean, what can, how, how can we scale this? It's a big challenge. This is not easy to do. This, this goes into many, many different disciplines. And if you think about why, you'll begin to understand why. Think, um, if, if you had one place that allowed access to information, one place, then isn't that one gonna, place going to actually entail all of those different disciplines that, that basically went into making the information? Yes. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Suddenly, suddenly the accountant who specialized in their information, the managerial worker who specialized in their worker, in, in their information, the warehouse worker who specialized in their information, the, the field worker, maybe, I don't know, you name it, any type of department you could think of, police officer, fireman, you name it, who specialized in their information, all of these people are going to be using this one system to be able to access information across the, across the organization. Now, I didn't say anything about, about, about this having to be big or small. In fact, they're very small content management systems. For example, WordPress works great whenever you've got a small content management system. And one of the big advantages with having a small content management system is that you can get away with a lot of bad practices. But that's, but that's still a content management system. Large content management systems, of course, because you get a larger number of people, um, require very, very rigid best practices, or companies start to lose lots and lots of money and competitive advantage. So that sort of tells you the perspective over here. That's our very first lecture right there. And what I want you guys to do now is be prepared for those of you who are going to be following through, these course, through this course where I'm going to take you through a content management system. I'm going to teach you what are the best practices, at least initially, for a beginning content management system, like what it actually entails. And then after that, guys, what I'm going to do, or guys, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive into Microsoft's version of a content management system, SharePoint, which all of you can actually dive in for free. The labs are for free. 
and we're going to see how to do various things within SharePoint. So I hope you really enjoy it. Thank you very much. This is Brandon Ahmad, and um, look very, very forward to delivering this series.